Hi, this is Eric Miller from iPhone Photography School, and in this video, you'll learn how to use the Canvas tools in Enlight. The Canvas tools have three functions, Crop, Skew, and Refit. Let's talk about the Crop tool. The Crop tool is great because you can vertically flip an image, horizontally flip an image, you can rotate an image around, you can also straighten it by dragging your finger left or right across the bottom. The thing I use it for most is for cropping a photo to a fixed ratio. If you click on the fixed ratio button, you'll see it has predetermined ratios all ready for you, like 1 to 1, or 3 to 2, or 16 by 9. You can even do like a widescreen if you want to focus in on that bread there. If you ever want to switch it from um, vertical to horizontal, you just tap the tool again. Let's undo that um, and go back to our original ratio. In this particular case, let's say I want to crop it square, so I'm going to click on the one-to-one -one, and you can see it gives me a preview of what it's going to look like. In this case, I'm going to crop it just a tiny bit tighter, give myself a little bit more headroom there, and then click on the check mark on the upper left. Gonna just swipe left to uh, hide that menu, and there you can see is my cropped square photo. If I want to see before and after, I can click on these two little squares here in the bottom right, and it shows me before and after. If I want to undo what I've done, I can just click on the arrow that points to the left in the bottom left corner. Now I've undone it, and I'm back to the beginning. The next tool that I want to show you is the skew tool. The skew tool is great for architectural photos like this one. In this photo you can see it appears that the building is sort of falling back away from us. That's because I had to tilt my phone up in order to get all the building within frame. And that perspective called keystoning makes the building not look like it's square. In reality, the sides of that concrete banner go straight up and down. But in the photo, they look like they're tilting away from us. Skew can fix that for us. I'll show you if I tap on horizontal, and then I move my finger left and right, you can see it fixes any horizontal skew that the photo might have. In this case, it's pretty good. What I'm more interested in fixing is the vertical skew. Again, if I move my finger left and right, you can see how it fixes the vertical skew so that the sides of the building look like they're straight up and down. I'm going to click OK there, and now you can see, if I look at the before and after, how my building looks much more like it looks like in real life, where the bell banner on this concrete structure is completely square, or close to square. The last tool that I want to show you in Canvas is the Refit tool. This is great when you want to bring two parts of the canvas closer together and a huge part of your photo is empty space like in this particular photo. So what I want to do is move these flowers a little bit closer to one another. I'll tap the freeze key and I'll just paint over with my finger the areas that I want to stay frozen. In other words, the parts that I don't want to change. Then I'll tap on the horizontal key and if I move my finger left and right, you can see it brings those flowers just a little bit closer together. I'll show you the before and after. That's a pretty neat tool. If I want my photo to be square again, I can just tap on the checkbox, click on Crop, go to Fixed Ratios, and click on Square, one to one. And then if I click on the check mark, I've got a square photo where these are closer together. I'll show you the before and the after. This doesn't work on every photo, but on photos like this where a, a large part of the center section of the photo is blank or empty, you can have a lot of control over how you change the image using the refit tool.